with more nine ball action from the Dynamic Billiard North Cyprus Open Euro Tour Men and Women Division. And uh, this time we're going to focus on one match only. And that is the match between Alexander Kazakis from Greece and Darren Appleton from Great Britain. Uh, while the match is analyzed, you can see the results running down here on the live ticker. And, uh, but the match was really great and we will show you some parts of it, so enjoy. We jump into the match at 4-3 for Appleton. It's uh, Kazakis to break. And as you can see, there was a ball down. But he doesn't really have a shot at the one. He can see it, but he cannot pocket it. So he comes up with a pretty good safety shot, I would say. Doesn't leave much for Darren to do there. But the World Games gold medalist chooses to go over one rail. And guess what? He flukes it in. Flukes it in, pockets it. Not necessarily a shot that you do 10 out of 10 times, I would say. But it gave him a good uh, position on the two. And everything was out in the open for him to proceed and take a two wreck lead over Kazakis. Not really any, any more room for errors here on the table. So he pocketed the 8, lined up for the 9, and took the 2 rack lead over Kazakis. Later in the match, another interesting situation happened, happened when Appleton was 6-5 up. So again, Kazakis to break, again he could see the 3 ball, the lowest numbered ball on the table, but he couldn't actually pocket it. And uh, again, Kazakis comes up with a good safety here. And now see how Appleton gets out of that. That's the three. But he doesn't get a position for the four. And um, see what he does with the four now. He rolls it in. Stays alive with a cue ball, not scratching, having position. Still some work to do here. But he makes the five. Gets a bit awkward on the six. But of course he has always the option of a one rail, and this is a two-way shot, he could even make the nine ball. But he focused on the six, I would say. He made it in the side pocket, put the nine ball close to the corner pocket. And the rest is an uh, easy prey for Darren Appleton. So that put him up 7 5 over Kazakis. Again, a 2 wreck lead. Now we jump in. It's Appleton's break. He's on the hill in the meantime. And this actually is the first break, believe it or not, where he can continue, meaning he made a ball on the break. The break was not dry, and everything was in the open for him, so it could be the first run out for him. And um, that would be the match winner for him. And look, everything is perfect, everything is good. Maybe he puts the cue ball a little bit close to the rail here. And he leaves the seven ball hanging over the pocket. Kazakis gets a second life. He probably didn't believe he would get back to the table. And uh, not much work left for him to do here. So he comes close to 7 to 8 with his own break coming up. And now you have a close look at what happens. You know that three balls must either cross the headstring or be pocketed. One ball was pocketed, the six crossed the headstring and prevented the four from entering the kitchen. So there's a little discussion here between the two. And uh, as you can see in the slow-mo now, We have the break in slow motion coming in a second. You see that? The two balls down, the six ball undoubtedly enters the kitchen. 
but it prevents the foreball from entering, so that's a dry break for Caracas here. And that at being down 7-8 to eight with Appleton on the hill, all the balls open. But look now. He runs the 2-3, the three, and again leaves the 4 hanging, and he doesn't make it in the pocket. So he gives another chance to Kazakis. But this time the Greek is too nervous, he can't make it, and leaves the ball for Appleton. And I think he knows now that was one too many mistakes. Um, Appleton now gets in gear, four balls left on the table. No problems anymore. If there would have been one, that would be the seven, but the seven was a no problem for him. And look what he does to the nine ball now. Instead of getting an easy position, he gets a bit thin on it, makes it in the end, wins the match. A bit lucky, eight to seven. What a lucky victory for Darren Appleton here. I had a short interview with him after the match. It was a grind. Uh, I have six dry breaks because of the three point rule. Uh, I rather make two balls on the break and don't get the three point rule. Or I, I make one ball on the break, get a ball past, but I don't get the second ball past. And uh, but luckily for me, he, he makes some mistakes. That, that's why I, I was leading uh, throughout the game. And then I, I get lucky at the end because I uh, I uh, dogged it. <laughs> I dogged it, but I uh, I get lucky that he missed the four ball. So I'm just happy to go through. That concludes today's coverage. Uh, we still have the last going on, around going on. Tomorrow, both tournaments, men and women division, will continue at 9 o'clock local time. Hope to see you back tomorrow.